Welcome traders to another tick mill earnings report preview with me Patrick Munley. Before we jump into today's report as always want to adhere to the risk disclaimer uh, most importantly with respect to today's presentation uh, the views and opinions expressed by me are solely mine they're not indicative or representative of those held by tick mill UK or tick mill Europe limited. Okay so we're looking at Netflix today. Netflix report after the close of trade in New York today. Um, we're looking for an earnings per share of 298 on revenue of just over 8.044 billion. There is a whisper number on the street, I would note, so for the potential for the EPS to come in as high as $3.12. Uh, Netflix was once accustomed to big revenue growth and profit growth. It's now facing major challenges. Inflation is limiting consumers' home entertainment budgets. Supply chain crisis has hurt smart TV sales and streaming entertainment competitors are luring away viewers. In a bid to reverse decelerating growth, Netflix plans to launch a lower-priced advertising-supported version of its platform later this year. This marks a major departure for Netflix, which branded itself for years as an ad-free company. Investors will closely watch Netflix executives' plans to overcome these challenges when the company reports today. Analysts expect that Netflix quarterly EPS will fall year over year for the second consecutive quarter. Revenue is expected to grow, but at its slowest quarterly pace in the last five years. Investors will also focus on Netflix global paid streaming memberships, a key measure of its monetizable user base. Although Netflix subscribers base grew to over 200 million during the COVID-19 pandemic, the rate of growth has been on a path of quarterly deceleration for about two years. Analysts predict that Netflix will see its slowest membership growth rate in nearly four years. Netflix shares have vastly underperformed the broader market in the last year, Stock outpaced the market between August and December of 2021, but it fell both before and after the company's Q4 uh, 2021 report in January 2022. Investors were jolted on January 20th when the company forecast it would have a fewer subscribers in Q1 than a year earlier. The stock fell sharply again after the company's first quarter earnings report in April. Since that time, it has traded roughly sideways. As of July 16th, the stock has provided a one-year trailing total return of negative 65.2%, well behind the S&P's negative 11.4%. Okay, let's take a look at some of the trading patterns we can anticipate around the Netflix earnings. Netflix shares have moved lower in the immediate aftermath of earnings, 10 out of the last 12 reports. On average, the stock has moved down in the first day of trading 6.7% uh, after the company report. Based on the previous 12 earnings releases, Netflix is more likely to trade lower one day after earnings for an average loss of 0.2%. On average, the stock has moved lower by 2.6% one week after earnings. Let's see what the options market is pricing after that massive move that we saw after the April release. Uh, options traders are pricing a 15% move on earnings. Stock has actually averaged a 9.9% move in recent quarters. And from a flow and sentiment perspective, there has been notable buying of 26,895 contracts of the $185 call expiring this Friday. But in general, options order flow sentiment has been bearish. Investor sentiment going into the company's earnings, only 15% expecting an earnings beat. Netflix share price has shifted down six, uh, has drifted down, sorry, 16.4% post earnings announcement. Using the last 12 quarters of data, the average drift between earnings announcement is 5.4%. Let's take a look at the charts and see if we can identify any near-term uh, trading opportunities. So in terms of the, the setup here, it looks pretty bearish. Um, in terms of the structure, we obviously have this gap uh, after prior earnings release. And gaps tend to occur in wave three, if we think in terms of Elliott wave cycles. So that would suggest we have a wave three low in place. We are looking at a wave four consolidation here in a rectangle pattern at the moment. So from a technical perspective, that's the, the bearish side of things, but we do have this double bottom in play uh, with some nice momentum divergence. So 
I can see this push and pull here in the consolidation phase. So what I'd be looking for would be any break of the $164 level to the downside. I'd want to be engaging on the short side. We have a minimum five equals one downside objective towards the $80 level. Or the alternative scenario, if there is an upside surprise in the earnings, then any close back through this trend line resistance at the 210 level uh, would be the potential then setting up for a short squeeze and the natural target there would be that gap back up into the $333 level. Possible, less probable, I would suggest at this stage, given the current setup. But those are the areas that I'm going to be watching after the earnings to, uh, to engage in the market. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.